logged into my Amazon Developer Console and just want to give you a quick overview of what's going on here. Uh, at, at the uh, user dashboard level, they give you a little bit of developer notes that they want you to read about. And then below that, under the dashboard listing, you will see any of the apps that you've added to your account. If you want to add a new app, you simply click this button in the bottom and add your new app. For today, I'm going to look at Copywriter's Empire. This is an actually an online book that I've created in my Mobile Launcher app for. And it has a website, and the book is actually an online book. You'll be asked to complete information in several tabs. General information uh, is like the app title, uh, the category, and a few other things. Developer Select is a special program. Don't worry about that. Um, our apps don't qualify for that. Those have to be full-fledged apps. Next, you look at availability and pricing. You'll typically select free for most of what we're working on and, you know, publish whatever countries you want to publish to. Next is the description of the app. Here's where you want to use uh, a good title, a short description, might be some text out of your document or uh, a short description of whatever your app is or your website. Long description, don't forget to use uh, some heavy duty keywording here. And uh, product feature bullets, why would somebody want to use your app and uh, be creative there, come up with some good things and then add some keywords under the description tab. Next will be images and multimedia tab. Here you have to have a small icon. Uh, I believe that's 114 pixels by 114 pixels, a large icon, 512 by 512 pixels. And uh, when you're in the raw screen just editing, adding uh, these images, the dimensions will be displayed underneath each heading as to what's available uh, as uh, minimum dimensions. Then I have some large dimensions from the website. had a book cover I put out and then a snapshot of one of the screens in my website. And these are something like the 1024 by 600 or something like that. So there, there are some large images. Um, I'm not using Amazon Fire TV and not worrying about that compatibility. And then a promotional image is 1024 by 500. I did a little bit of customization really off of the image at the top. And uh, that was good enough for me. At that point, uh, you take a look at content rating. Content rating for my sites. Uh, I pretty much check none. You'll, you would see a checklist of different types of things that would make sense once you see them. Um, I just said no all the way down. None of them. Uh, it's, it's not a you know, alcohol or drug. Uh, there's no nudity, no profanity. It's not for uh, adults only or anything like that. So you'll, that'll be an obvious uh, way to answer that one. Then the binary file, that's uh, your APK file. Did you already upload it? There's an opportunity to have already uploaded it. You can come do it on this page. It's going to talk about what devices are supported. And this is all kind of dumped in here by Amazon. You have to certify that your app is uh, useful in the United States, but I don't use a Google Maps API, so this one didn't apply. Once you've done all those updates, you would do Submit App. This would be orange before you submit it. And typically, overnight, uh, I received my approvals that uh, my apps were accepted into the uh, app store. Good luck with your apps and uh, have a good time with my Moby Launcher software. See you soon.